Hey y'all, today we're doing something super exciting. We're gonna try to cook burn ins, make burn ins out of venison. Got a venison ham here. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go ahead and trim all this silver skin off, try to clean this up as much as possible. So let's do that first. All right, so we've got a lot of this silver skin cleaned off the ham. And keep in mind, this is a piece of wild game. There's no fat, there's no fat involved. We gotta add the fat, we gotta add fat to it, we gotta add moisture, because this is not a domestic animal, this is a wild animal, no fat. So we're gonna add some olive oil, a liberal amount of olive oil on this ham. Use a little more olive oil than you think you need. And then we're gonna add our seasoning. We're gonna add strawberries, barbecue seasoning. This stuff is tremendous. It's very salty, so you don't really need to add salt on top of this, just the strawberries by itself is good. And we're gonna add some black pepper and then some garlic powder as well. Rub that in. Then we're gonna take some bone broth that we rendered a while back. This is venison bone broth. We're gonna add this to the bottom of this pan. This is just gonna add more moisture, create kind of a steam bath. That moisture that vaporizes is gonna come from underneath and just add more moisture and steam to that meat as it cooks. We're gonna go ahead and cover this with a piece of aluminum foil and that's just gonna kind of contain more of this moisture and like I said, create a little bit of a steam bath while this is cooking. All right, we've got the Traeger at 250 degrees. Putting this ham in here. Gonna go ahead and close the lid and we're gonna leave this closed for about two hours. In about two hours, we're gonna take a look at it, go ahead and cut it up and that's where we're gonna cut it into the actual burn ends, the little chunks. All right, it's been about two and a half hours. We're gonna go ahead and check on this, take a look at it. Looks really good. And um, so you can see this is still pretty raw. And so we're gonna, we're gonna let this cook a little while longer just like it is before I start cutting it up. Probably give it a couple more hours, honestly. All right. It's been uh, about four hours and uh, somehow this thing has sprouted chicken wings. We've added some wings around the fire because we're smoking some wings tonight too, but this thing's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and let it cool off and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it up into our burnt end chunks. All right, here we go. So this has been on the smoker and you can see it's just still got a lot, a lot of juices. That's good. Um, been on the smoker about four hours. We're gonna go ahead and cut this up into our burn-in cubes. You can see it's still pretty rare on the inside. It's very hot right now, so you can wait till it cools off, but I'm wearing gloves. And it's really good, high quality meat right there, tender. Not super tender, but it's gonna get more tender as we cook it for the remaining hours. But I'm gonna go ahead and re-season this. Heavy on the seasoning. Just try to get as much as I can all the sides with this strawberry seasoning. And it's gonna continue to help out with that good crust. Then we're gonna spread it all, uh, evenly over our rack, back on the smoker. Now that these burn ends are starting to turn a little crispy, we're gonna go ahead and put them down in the pan with all the drippings, okay? See what we're doing here? Put them in the pan. You're gonna add a good amount of honey and butter. We're just gonna cover this with honey. This is uh, some good fresh local honey from some friends of mine that raise bees. Probably gonna do about three quarters of a cup of honey. It's good stuff. And then we're doing a stick of butter. Let that melt. Stir it all up. Let these just mix all together. 
try to get all of these guys coated with some of that meat drippings, the butter, the honey. Let it all come together. All right, it's been, uh, been about another 45 minutes. And if you get in here close on these bad boys, they are looking good, good and smoky. They've absorbed a lot of this liquid, which is what we want. Absorbing all that flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and add some barbecue sauce to it. have that good smoky flavor got the honey the butter the strawberries barbecue seasoning barbecue sauce should be packed full of flavor and get all that drippings from the pan on top of that that's where the goodness is right there mm. try it for yourself <laughs>